Okay, people. Uh, now let's talk about uh, how to set up Swapper. So imagine that this is a mission that you've downloaded or that you have created and you're interested in implementing Swapper. So the first thing that you need to do is to make a list of clients that you want uh, Swapper to target in order to generate replacements. And a way to do that is, uh, for example, you can go here, view unit list, select uh, planes and helicopters, for instance. I have 40 clients in this mission, I think. And as you can see, all these clients that I have, well, not all of them, but most of them, 40 of them, have special prefixes at the end. Uh, you need to go to the pilot name, which is the unit name, okay? And then you can uh, introduce either a special suffix or prefix in order for Swapper to target that client. Now, the, the prefix... Uh, doesn't have to be underscore client, for example. You can choose your own prefix as long as you respect the Lua symbology. But uh, anything with an underscore and an alphanumeric values should uh, should work. So basically, in this mission, I'm using the prefixes uh, underscore client. Let's see what else do I have here. Underscore hello. That's another prefix I'm using. Underscore test. And what else am I doing here? Okay, underscore plane, that's another one that we're using. And I think th those are all the, the the suffixes that I'm using in this mission. But it basically, uh, just so you know, it's a, it's a target, uh, sorry, the way Swapper targets clients is by uh, special, special uh, prefixes or suffixes that you set on for any number of clients that, uh, that you want uh, swap, uh, Swapper to generate uh, replacements for. Okay, so this is on one side. Then uh, second thing that you need to keep in mind, like I said before, uh, if you have clients on FARBs, they should be set to either take off from ground or take off from ground hot. Otherwise, there's going to be problems here because of DCS, DCS bugs or DCS shenanigans when it comes to <laughs> assigned uh, parking spots on uh, FARB parking spots to to clients and what else oh yeah so in order to run swapper what do you need you need a couple of triggers okay one trigger should be used to load moose because swapper uses moose methods okay and uh yeah i will provide the link in the description of the video but basically you need to go to this website here okay github flight control master moose there really is a section of most basically, which is here. The latest version as of uh, uh, May 2021 uh, is uh, 2.721. Okay, 2.71. And yeah, you basically download the zip file. Well, actually, no, because you, if you're a user, you only need to download this moose.lua, okay, which is the uh, include version, 2 megabytes, which is this file that I'm using here. Okay, this is the Moose.lua, the include version. This is used to run uh, Moose on missions. Okay, so the first trigger, we use a mission, a mission start trigger, for, for instance, without conditions, and the action should be do script file and Moose.lua. Okay, the second uh, trigger that you need should be, for example, a once trigger. You can, uh, optionally, you can assign uh, a condition like Give it three seconds, give three seconds for Moose to load. And then you can load uh, the Swapper script, the main Swapper script. In this case, it's Swapper 1.4, okay? <clears throat> uh, I will provide the link in the description as well. And that's it. That, uh, these are the only two scripts that you need. Uh, Moose and then Swapper. Okay, this is how you set it up in Mission Editor. Now, uh, next we will talk about how to set up the script itself. Okay, so this is a Swapper 1.4, this is a script, and uh, as you can read here, do not modify any of the lines below. So all this part of the script below the Swapper config section, you should not touch it, okay? This is Swapper code. If you touch it uh, without knowing what you're doing, you probably uh, create uh, Lua errors, which will prevent Swapper from running. 
So do not touch anything below this point, okay? You only need to be concerned with the Swapper config, which I'm going to explain right now. So in total, we have six options in Swapper. The first uh, variable, these are variables. Uh, it's basically Swapper prefixes. This is the way of telling Swapper which clients to target. Like uh, I've said before, uh, in that uh, demonstration mission that I showed you here, we have it here. Let's go to units. Like I said, we were using we are using a series of special suffixes for uh, Swapper to target these clients. Uh, those were underscore client. Actually, we have that, we have them listed here. Underscore client, underscore hello, underscore plane, underscore test. Okay, so this is basically a way of telling Swapper which targets, sorry, which clients uh, it needs to target in order to generate replacements for them. Okay. And it's, it's explained here, basically. Uh, now, another important thing that you need to keep in mind, these need to be strings, meaning they need to be surrounded by uh, quotes, okay? Either single or double quotes, doesn't matter, but they need to be quotes. These are strings in Lua, separated by commas as well, and within these brackets, okay? Uh, within these curvy brackets, like, like here. And I repeat, the, uh, these are just the suffixes that I'm using, but ob obviously you can use uh, the suffixes, any suffix that you want, as long as you respect Lua uh, symbology. Uh, like I said, underscores and alphanumeric values should be fine. Okay, so uh, yeah, you have many, many options here. Okay, so that was for swapper prefixes. Let's uh, switch to game mode then. Game mode, second option, it's uh, it's explained here. It's as easy as uh, setting it to either single player, like this SP or MP, capital letters, okay? This is basically a way of telling Swapper uh, how it should scan for, for clients and replacements, okay? Uh, because uh, Swapper uses uh, slightly different methods for single player and multiplayer in order to avoid collisions and all that stuff. So basically, uh, the mission that I've demonstrated, uh, I demonstrated it in single player env environment, and that should be set to SP, but if you, you can use Swapper in a multiplayer, in a dedicated server, and in order to do that, one of the things that you would need to do is uh, set it to MP. And uh, well, I'll explain more about that later, because uh, when you set it to MP, you need to you need to use a server hook, which is this script right here, but uh, I will explain that later. For now, just keep in mind that this option game mode just sets uh, the method Swapper uses for scanning and replacing of uh, clients or replacements. And it needs to be, it's another string, so it needs to be surrounded by either uh, double quotes or single quotes, okay? And capital letters, either SP or MP. Okay, that's uh, that's it for game mode so far. Let's go to slot block. Uh, it can uh, it's a boolean value. It can be uh, set to either false or true. Okay. Now the true would mean uh, it's enabled. False would mean it's disabled. Okay. And yeah, this feature only works in multiplayer. And um, well, uh, as it is said here. This uh this feature basically what it does is enables a um, special mechanic that it will that will disable slots in multiplayer when uh, the replacements for each client had have been destroyed. For example, you have a client a slot in 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 a server, right? And let's say that the enemy destroyed that that replacement in that slot. So if you want to if you try to enter that slot, you will get kicked back to us to to spectators and you won't be able to join that client because it has been disabled so to speak and right on on the upper right hand corner of the screen you should see a video recommendation which is basically a short demo that i made short demo for slot blog you check it out okay next option is replacement type it's a little bit more complicated treat i'll try to keep it simple it can be set to either AI or static with the first S capital S. Okay, this basically determines the type of uh, replacements that uh, will be generated for for targeted clients. Uh, static will try to generate statics in all those situations in which statics won't cause issues. It's explained here in the comment. 
uh, with more detail, but basically that's what it does. And if you set it set it to AI, it will generate um, pretty much uh, uncontrolled AI replacements everywhere. If I if I remember correctly, okay. So it's just a way of telling Shopper whether you want statics or or AI as replacements. Okay, next. Um, it's a, this option is a hidden AI replacement. It's basically a way of telling Swapper whether you want uh, the, these replacements to show up in the F10 map or not. Okay, and this can be set to either true, that would be enabled, or false. Okay, disabled. Now, notice uh, it's explained here in the comment, but notice that this option does not work in multiplayer, apparently, and it only works for in single player and for uh, AI replacements, it does not work for static replacements. Okay, and this is another boolean, so no no quotes here. It's just uh, false or true, uh, and uh, lowercase. Nice. And and yeah, I forgot to mention that the previous option is a string, so obviously it needs to be between quotes, between quotes, either AI or, or static. Okay. Last option, sheltered replacements, true or false, another boolean, okay? This would disable it, true would enable it. This uh, basically what it does is uh, it scans the mission, your mission for all the clients that you have targeted and detects whether or not they are um, located on parking spots that are sheltered. For example, this would be the case in, in Caucasus map because uh, Caucasus map has a lot of uh, sheltered parking spots in different bases. So if the, if you had this selected, uh, this enabled, like uh, it is now, it should generate replacements for those clients inside the sheltered parking spots. Okay, it's explained here in the in the comment. Uh, but uh, you set it to false. The uh, swapper will basically ignore those clients and it won't generate replacements for them. It's it's a way of. Uh, increasing performance or reducing the performance hit that you'll get with Swapper because uh, yeah that's the thing that you need to keep in mind um, the more units that you have on an air or an airbase in an airbase uh, the bigger the performance hit will be okay so basically these are all the options that you have available for Swapper uh, like I said very important don't modify any of the lines below do not touch anything guys because you're gonna screw it if you don't know what you're touching, okay? If you, if you don't know Lua or you don't know Moose, do not screw with Swapper. Just uh, modify the, these options, like I said, and you should be fine, okay? Now, guys, let's talk about how to set up Swapper for a multiplayer environment for, uh, for dedicated servers. Okay, so the first thing that we, we need to do is come here to the game mode option and set it to MP like this. That's the first thing. Second thing is to decide whether or not we want slot block uh, enabled. Okay. And uh, then very important, if we set this uh, option game mode to MP, server hook is required. Okay, so the server hook is the second script that is also it's also included in the swapper download from GitLab, and uh, it's basically this script again. Like before, do not modify any of the lines below these lines. Just forget about them, guys. This is don't mess with them uh, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, you only need to be concerned about the swapper hook config, which is this. It's basically. It's as simple as just uh, taking the swapper prefixes table from the other, from the main swapper script. You just copy it and just paste it here. It's as simple as that, guys. Paste it here, save, and that's it. That should uh, be all that you need to do to set up the server hook. Okay. Uh, the same prefix or prefixes or suffixes that you have in the main swapper script. Okay, that's one thing that you need to do. Then second thing that you need to do is, uh, assuming this is your dedicated server, you need to, uh, let's see, go to uh, saved games, your your saved game, uh, DCS open beta or DCS saved games folder, scripts, hooks, and you must 
copy paste you must paste this the swapper 1.4 server hook the server hook in here okay otherwise this will not work okay and as you can see we already have the swapper prefixes pasted here everything is set up correctly that's it this is just to um to make swapper work properly with a dedicated server so there won't be collisions and uh, also so if in case you have uh, the slot block option enabled it will work properly as well okay so this is uh, what you need to do in order uh, to use swapper in 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 multiplayer